Excuse me. I'm looking for Dimitri Carlyle. Uh, Dimitri, I think he's out of the office. As usual, my timing bites the big one. Do you know where I can find him? Oh, no. I'm only a receptionist. They don't tell me anything. I mean, if I work hard, maybe someday they'll... Garrett? This motto has a childproof cap! Excuse me. Okay, I guess I'll try him at home. What are you doing here? Waiting for you. I thought you were shooting your, your music video. I am. I, I just wanted to see you first. I'm sorry I was such a bunghole before. No. You have every right to hate me. I don't hate you. Every time I see you, it just makes me want you more. Look, Sasha, soon you're, you're going to forget whatever it was that we... Is now a bad time to talk about Witch Wars 2? Cause, cause I animated a prototype for you, and it's it's a big poisonous bat tearing apart some nuns. Todd, Witch Wars could totally destroy this company. Well then why don't we call it Nun Wars? Can we please talk about this later? I'm kind of on edge. Yeah, you actually, yeah, you, you have, you've been tense lately, like the whole choking Myrna thing. Oh, Todd, just hit the bricks. Natalia, you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe I can help. You, you, you know what I do when I feel stressed? I am not making little toy robots. Natalia, you gotta snap out of it! S Spider games need you. Mm. Todd, I feel like I'm totally losing my mind. I have the perfect solution. What I don't get, though, is how is Dad and Natalia's visit with Whitmore connected with Dad's death? I'm not sure it is, except that Natalia was the last person to see dead alive. You know, it means a lot that you're confiding in me like this. Don't you think it's about time you did the same? What do you mean? Ivan, it's pretty clear that things are rough between you and Julie. She's been acting really weird. What's up? Julie's had a real hard time since we got married. We both have. What's the problem? <laughs> Being married isn't as easy as I thought it would be. Well, it's an adjustment, but you'll get used to it. No, I won't. It breaks my heart to have to tell her this. But I'm afraid our marriage is over. Why? What happened? Well, this is something I always thought I could keep to myself. And I did for quite a while. But now that I'm married, I can't do it anymore. What? <laughs> it's so hard to admit this to you. Well, what is it? I'm gay. Okay, so what's your perfect solution? How am I supposed to deal with all this pressure? You gotta go see my psychic. Your psychic? Yeah. Oh, let me let me get you her number. Get out! No, 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 Natalia. No, Ber Bernadette. She she's not one of those she's not one of those frauds with with, with a bad wig and, and a hotline. She she's actually incredible. How could you possibly believe in all of that bogus new age hocus pocus? I I, I talked to her. I talked to her the day before I, I I got this job, and 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 she told me to be on the lookout for 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 changes in my professional and um m my my romantic life. So she was half right. I, I know it sounds kind of weird, but but she's got this like weird spooky way of, of seeing into the future. And how is that going to help me? Wouldn't it be nice to know that all this crap that's going on right now, whatever it is, is actually going to work itself out just fine? I can't believe that this is my only option. Well, you, you, you know, you, I mean, you, 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 you could always, you could talk to me. Okay, give me the damn number. Sasha, you have to stop this. It isn't healthy for you or me. I don't care. You will find someone else, someone you can have a real relationship with. I won't. You and Cherish have gotten very close. It's not the same, we're just friends. Hello? Yeah, I'll be right there. Sasha, I have to go. So that's it? 
That was it. Weeks ago. You have to accept it. No, I don't. Sasha, I don't love you. Don't sweat it. We're never going to see each other again. Oh, we might. When I'm your sister-in-law. Ivan, are you sure? Yes. I felt this way for a long time, but I'm finally admitting it to myself. Which I know couldn't have been easy for you. No, it wasn't. You're not shocked about this? Not really. Ivan, you're my brother. I love you. I'm just sorry that Julie had to get hurt. I feel so horrible about doing this to her. I really thought I could make it work. So that's why she's been acting this way? I never meant to ruin her life. Look, Ivan, I know that. You're a nice guy. You, but you made a mistake. A huge one. Look, Ivan, look, I, I'm sure that you did what you thought was right. But you know what? I'm sorry that you had to keep the secret so long. Probably would have come to it sooner if it hadn't been for... For Dad. I know he never would have accepted this. But I really wanted his approval. And once Dad was dead, you couldn't hide who you were anymore. No wonder you guys couldn't get along. And Julie's the only reason he left me in his will. I have a dad did a lot of horrible things. But I'm finally starting to realize that. Ever since I can remember, he would go on about how he hated queers and perverts. And here he was, the sickest one of all. I'm so sorry, Ivan. I'm just glad Francisco never started using again. Yeah, being one of Dad's puppets could drive anyone to drugs. But Francisco's a strong guy. Let me get that. Mr. Dimitri Carlisle? Uh, yeah, that's me. I'm here to pick you up, sir. Um, I didn't order a limo. No, sir, Miss Taylor Jones did. I'll be one second. I, uh, totally forgot, um, dinner. <laughs> dinner? Yeah, I sort of promised. But maybe I should cancel. I mean, we still have so much to talk about. Go get your mind off this crap. I'll let you know if I hear anything from Jeff. Yeah? Thanks, man. Ivan, you know that you can come to me with anything, right? Thanks. Messing up your own kids' lives wasn't enough. You had to screw over Francisco, too. Welcome, Natalia. Hi. So you must be uh, Bernadette? Yes, I am. Please make yourself comfortable. Todd told me about you. Well, that's cheating. This is your first reading, isn't it? Yeah. I've got to be honest with you, I'm a little skeptical about all this new age stuff. I sense that. Okay. You're not going to use that on me, are you? <laughs> this? It's an antique. I got it on eBay. No, I prefer a more modern means of reading. Put your hand on Violet. You want me to put my hand on the bird? Put your hand on the bird. Here. I see something very dark. A little girl all alone. Up every morning. Her lips are chapped from the cold. Her hands are calloused from milking the cows. What are you talking about? That little girl was you. But I've never milked a cow in my life. 
I'm talking about your past life. Okay. I'm out of here. This is not for me. There's a piano playing. And it's classical music. Tchaikovsky, does, does that, that mean anything, anything to you? you? Your father is sitting, sitting listening to the music. music. He, died he died recently. Todd told you that. Your father's aura is very powerful. He was very cruel to you in particular. He hurt you very much. And the pain was unbearable. His death didn't make it go away. It's only made the pain worse. You've been under a lot of stress lately. Let me see your hand. Okay. Hmm. Oh, yes. I see a man who cares for you very much. And he's been in your life a long time. Todd. Oh, no. This man is hot. You see, this is a man that you've actually allowed yourself to become close to. Oh, well, we're really not that close anymore. This man cares for you. Well, he's got a really strange way of showing it. I sense that you should give him another chance. It could be the shelter that you need. From what? From all the darkness in your life. This poisonous memory has you trapped. I think you're way off. No. The vibes don't lie. Well, maybe they're vibes from one of those past lives. I saw something red. Red? It's an object that you're terrified of, and there's no one there to protect you. No one. Trying to drive you mad. This is so great, Sasha. Can you believe this is all because of you? It's pretty cool. Look at this. I am so jealous. I would give anything to star in my own video. You would? Yes. I'm very talented. So, kid, you ready to lip sync your ass off? Actually, I have a few problems. I was hoping we could talk. You want a problem? One of our backup dancers just bailed on us to go on tour with Christina Aguilera. If you ask me, those chicks deserve each other. What I meant was, I don't really know about the song. I'd really rather do my own stuff. Hey, Sergio! We need a new dancer like five minutes ago. Move! Look, Sasha. We're gonna record your songs eventually, but the VPs over at Olympus Records flipped over your bitch slap my heart. They're sure it's gonna launch you out of the box. They are? Why else do you think they're rushing this video? Look, they know a hit when they hear it. Wow. I couldn't help hearing that you needed a new dancer. What well, so happens that I'm a great dancer. I'm sure you are, but we're looking for someone with professional experience. Wait, wait, wait. I could do this. I promise. Look, just let me show you. Okay, make it quick. <clears throat> Ow! Cute. 